So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best OBS settings to record Fortnite with in 2021. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure to subscribe for more. So to hop right into it, this is my OBS. This is how it's set up. These are all my scenes, as you can see, like these are all the scenes that I used to record. Please don't pay attention to the activate windows in the bottom right corner. Just like, don't even worry about that part, to be honest. So if I just disable all of these. So this is what your OBS is going to look like when you first download it. So the first thing that I recommend doing is running the auto config wizard. So to do that, you just go up to tools and press on the auto config wizard and you just choose like what you want to optimize your settings for. So for me, it's going to be recording because I don't stream, you just press next choose your monitor's resolution i'm on a 1920 by 1080 monitor and you always want to choose 60 fps press next and these are the settings that the auto config wizard like made for you but they're honestly not the best it's something to start off with so if you guys want to do that first then then you can but i'm going to be going in depth with like all of these settings so stay tuned for that so once you're done with the auto config just press apply settings and you're good so the first thing that we are going to talk about in today's video is the output tab so to get to the output tab you just go to settings and it's the third tab down so if you're streaming you would focus on this tab but i don't stream so i'm going to focus on the recording tab so just go to the recording tab and your guys is output tab should look like this just change the output mode to advanced and it should look like this now the first thing that we are going to cover is the recording format always make it mp4 this is the format that like literally every video is in there's no point in using any of these other ones because you're just gonna have to convert it to mp4 later on so just save yourself the hassle and use mp4 now for your audio track i have two because i have my mic as one track and i have my my like desktop audio and like game audio as my second one it's always best to have two separate tracks for audio and your mic because in your editing software you can change the levels of one without affecting the other one so it's always good to have one separate audio track for your mic and one separate audio track for your desktop audio and stuff like that so just take how many tracks you want it's just recommended tab two so next is the encoder so if you guys don't have a graphics card this is what your obs should look like x.264 and you should have all of these down here but if you do have a graphics card then it's going to look kind of different if you have a graphics card please use the encoder that it comes with it's going to be so helpful the x.264 is using your like cpu so to change it to your graphics card so more of the lower gets put on your graphics card so next is the rate control now you always want to have it at cbr or constant bit rate so basically what constant bit rate is is just the bit rates constant throughout like the entire recording or the entire stream Constant bit rate is the best codec to use if you want to get like the highest quality stream or video possible. Like this just gives you the highest level of quality. So next is bit rate. So the lowest bit rate that I suggest you guys go to is 1200 kilobits per second. Anything lower than that, like you're just losing a lot of quality. Now with this, this is still like kind of high quality. It's like 720p, but that's the lowest that I personally would go to. Now, if your PC can't handle that bit rate, going lower would be the better option for you. And the highest that I suggest you guys go to is 25,000. Now, this is like the highest level of quality. Like there are some people that like go up to like 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, but I don't see the need to go that high. So I just set mine at 25,000. Honestly, what I would do is start at 25,000 and go down by like five each time and just test like how your PC reacts to it. And if your PC is kind of like struggling, then just keep on going down until it becomes stable. Like that's the best option for you. It's going to differ per setup like i just recently built this new pc it cost me like eight hundred dollars but yeah like it's going to differ per setup so now for your keyframe interval to be honest just leave it at zero it's not even that important so next is preset now if you don't have a graphics card this is what it's going to look like for you it's going to say cpu usage but if you have a graphics card it's going to say preset so let's first go like with the x.264 so the, for the CPU usage preset, 
I suggest just keeping it at very fast because very fast has the best balance of CPU usage and quality. Like it's not going to like make your CPU work as hard as if you had it on like faster, slow, medium, very fast, super fast, or ultra fast is the three that I suggest you guys using. If your PC is struggling to like hold constant frames on very fast, then change it to super fast. But if it's struggling on super fast as well, change it to ultra fast and it should be good if it's on ultra fast. If not, then you're just gonna have to tweak your settings a little bit more to make it more smooth. But yeah, so anything very fast and up, I suggest using. Now, if you do have a graphics card, the preset quality that, that I recommend you guys use is max performance if you want the best frames in game. But if you want like a like high quality recording or stream, like let's say you're a content creator, then I suggest doing quality or max quality. I'm sitting on quality right now because I still want to get decent frames in game. So max performance if you want the best frames in game, quality or max quality if you want a high quality stream or recording. So now it's time for the profile. So I have mine on high. I honestly don't know what this does. Like I've tested this out and it doesn't really make a difference in my opinion. So the rest of these settings to me don't really matter. So we're just gonna move on to the video tab. We are going to be skipping over the audio tab and just going straight to the video tab because there's nothing really that special in this tab. So just go to your video tab and you guys should see this. Now your base canvas resolution is your, it should be your, monitors resolution like the default resolution for your monitor so just set it to the resolution that you're using for your monitor and the output scaled resolution just leave it the same but if you're struggling to like i guess record at a constant frame rate then downscaling your resolution is your best bet so by downscaling your resolution your cpu is working like less hard than it usually would if you were trying to record at like your base monitor resolution. So in my case, I'm recording in 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. So if I was struggling to record in 1080p, I would downscale it. The lowest that I would personally go is 720p because that's half of 1080. So that's half of the quality. But yeah, the lowest that I would go is 720p. So if you're struggling to record at a constant frame rate or your like stream or your recording isn't like smooth then i suggest downscaling your resolution now when you do downscale your resolution you're going to also have to apply a downscale filter so your stream or your recording still looks good so for low to medium end pcs i suggest using bilinear this is going to be the best option for you guys like this is the best option to record on like a less powerful pc and for the high end pcs i suggest bicubic or Lanzos. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but like these are like the two best ones for like a high end PC. But if you want the most frames in game on a high end PC, you can also use the bilinear option. So now it's time for your frame rate. Now in like 2021, like you want to have your frame rate at 60. If you don't have your frame rate at 60 and people notice like you're done for bro. Like, trust me, like I learned that the hard way. People just don't care to be honest. Like have your frame rate at 60 FPS, please. I don't want you guys to go through the same thing that I went through. Like, bro, like I'm having flashbacks, bro. I'm having flashbacks now. But yeah, so these days everyone just records at 60 FPS. So to get the smoothest video possible, just record at 60 FPS. So now it's time for the advanced tab. Now your process priority, this is basically like the same thing as like the task manager priority. So if you set it to high, it's going to put more resources to this software. So I have mine on normal because my CPU can actually handle this software being open and games also being open. But if your PC can't, then I suggest going to above normal or high. The higher you set the process priority, the more resources goes to the software and not like your game. So just be careful with this one because if you set this too high, then your game won't run as smooth because your PC is putting more resources to the software and not the game. I hope that makes sense. So now we're gonna hop into a game of Fortnite. So we are loaded up into Fortnite and as you guys can see, like, like this looks really good. So we're just gonna hop into some BHE 1v1s really quick and see if we can hit a couple 200 pumps. Oh my God, bro, like that kid is so weak. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. I'm just hitting everyone today. And you're back? Like what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, man, damn, bro, your body me to be honest. Where'd he go, man? What? Oh my god. That's tough. Oh my god, I, I'm dead. It's my twin sister, dog. Like, and she's clapping me like that. Wait, pause. Hold on. Not like that. Wait, hold on. <laughs> A box like a fish. Okay. <laughs> I think that's enough Fortnite for me to. to uh, the, 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 I just had a stroke. So that's going to be today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy Zyre, and I'm out. Peace.